Now back to Let's Chat with Tita Gracie, only here on V81 Radio. Okay, we're back, and this is Let's Chat with Tita Gracie on V81 Radio Worldwide. Tonight, we have designers and uh, a very famous fashion designer, Jackie Aquino, who has been um, very active in putting together the Philippine Fashion Coalition. And this group of very creative individuals have come together under one banner to help resurrect and revive the Philippine fashion industry. Earlier in the show, Jackie and the rest of the group were talking about how as one cohesive industry, all the members can put their creative inputs together to put uh, more energy and revive the industry as a whole and also wake up our consumers to buy Filipino. And tonight, show, I would like to echo that call to let's start buying Filipino and wearing Filipino designs, not just the typical uh, brands that you will see that would look very generic, but I think in terms of the creative designs that come from our designers using fabrics and weaves and accessories made of local material. Uh, right, Jackie? Is that yeah. the new cry of the fashion industry? Just buy everything in the Philippines. Yes. And the, the, only, way, the only way this will work is we have to do it together, all of us. Yes, I believe so. In fact, I was having a conversation with Gina yesterday when, when we had the test that from here onwards, I will really make an effort to wear Filipino designers clothes or uh, Filipino accessories because it is it is a commitment and it has to be a commitment of people who have the voice to spread the word so that it will trickle all around the country, right? Agree, totally. Yes, and I like your idea earlier when you uh, recommended that maybe companies and, and government institutions institute a wear Filipiniana or wear Filipino movement so that uh, oh, yeah. and no, wear Filipino my, movement. Yeah, go ahead, Jackie. My dream and my hope is it becomes law that, you know, maybe one day a week, the entire population should wear Filipino. That would, that would really drive the economy and yes. make sure, and it gives us our identity. To me, that's more yes. important. Because, like you know, to in if there are there are countries that already have that as a benchmark, uh, and it shows the strong culture, how fashion can be a strong cultural element. For instance, women in India, the sari uh, is yeah. proud worn by the women of India, and there's a whole weaving industry that is um, that supports the the weaving and the artisans that create the fabric for the sari and and we know that to be a very intrinsic part of the indian culture and hopefully now with with the collective efforts of you and the rest of the guys in the industry we will see more people wearing filipino dress that's the long term goal and i hope yes. it happens maybe not in my lifetime but i hope it happens yes yes um, if Carissa is backstage, I'd like to call Carissa back in because uh, she uh, you, and you collaborated to put this whole Philippine fashion tradition together. So uh, maybe we can invite Carissa back now she, if she's there. Uh, and the problem with the um, uh, is not Carissa has already dropped out of our backstage. Um, however, Jackie, as we wait for the other guests to join us, Aside from that, I like the idea of the Buy Filipino page that you put together. And you have been active in, in keeping that page alive. Uh, what, are, what, what have you done over the last few weeks to jumpstart the awareness for the Buy Filipino page in Facebook? Well, I just hope as anybody who's watching the show right now can just go to the Facebook Buy Filipino page and become a member. And if you have something to showcase uh, about if you have something to sell, maybe an apparel, an accessory, or if you just have a story that will inspire, feel free to post. Um, I hope it, it reaches a what it just started, so it takes time. 
and I hope it grows. That's my only okay. hope. Yeah, um, we've got Gina backstage together with Vic, Dodgy, and Philip. Can we have everybody back here for the last hour? We have uh, roughly 30 minutes together. There's Gina. I'm glad to see you back. There's Dodgy and there's Philip. All right. I, I can't we've hear got Aminda now in full force and Cebu. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> there they are. Okay. So, um, Gina, uh, I'd like to know how, how do you think will you be able to join forces with our designers from Luzon, like Vic, Doji in Davao, and Philip? Filipino. Uh, there's a bit of a delay. A little choppy, I can't hear. Yeah. Yeah, Gina, can you hear us? Anyway, um, I think for the, the three of you, the, 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 the challenge now is working together uh, and, and making our uh, you know our fashion coalition work as one, right? It might be a bit of a challenge, but is there a possibility that you know there's collaboration between Vic and Doji and Philip and our accessory designers? Oh, they and have collaborated already. So, uh, but now uh, I mean, it's, the it's need to right really thing. work with all sectors is given. Uh, it's really a, a must. That's the only way we can move forward is really help each other. But in the past, they already collaborated with one another. That's great. And how about access to uh, raw materials? Because I know that the one way to inspire the designers, for instance, Vic has his source in Tokos. Vic, have you worked with indigenous materials from Davao or from other provinces? Not in, not not in the same depth as the ones I have uh, easy access to. But yes, I have. But very few. Like I've the, I've had a few malong sa pasalubong. Of course, I make them. You know, I don't wear them as a malong, but I repurpose them into shirts for my own, but only for myself, not really for ready to wear. I see. Um, you you're more. Uh, you do do you do a combination of ready to wear as well as hot couture, Vic? I'm sorry, say that again? Yes, uh, uh, how would you share, uh, describe yourself? Uh, do you do ready to wear business as well as customize or what couture? Ah, uh, I'm basically, uh, majority of my line is, is ready to wear, but I've had a very few, a handful of very loyal clients who've come to me for made to measure stuff, but I'm more all out on my ready to wear. That's my bread and butter. But I do, I do service clients. Uh, you may know who they are, but they want to be kept in secret, and that's my secret too. But uh, yes, I, I, I do a little. I dabble a little bit in, in uh, made to measure or bespoke, as they say. Yes, bespoke. How about you, Philip? Do you also do a combination of ready to wear as well as made to measure or haute couture? I think. Yeah, Philip, can you hear us, Philip? In the meantime, how about you, Dodgy? Oh, for me, it's uh more bespoke or made to measure. Made to but measure. We have um, members. We have members in the council that does um, RTW also. Yes, yes. How about the Cebu uh, our Cebu designer, Philip? Do you do uh, made to measure as well as ready to wear or purely made to measure or bespoke? I, I think he's having some problems. Anyway, it's uh, interesting because, yeah, can you hear, Philip? Can you hear us? That's a bit of a problem. Anyway, I think, Jack, could you tell us a little bit about Philip's line? Like, uh, I know you're familiar with what he does. Well, I know he has a, he has a, he has a ready to wear line. But he's more known for his made to measure. His haute yeah. couture pieces are worn by the grand dames of Cebu. Of Cebu, <laughs> yes. Uh -oh. 
Yeah, um, I, I, I think that uh, Cebu is a unique market. It's very, well, as, as you know, it's, it's uh, uh, very close-knit. The, the Cebu uh, society is a very close-knit group. And uh, I used to live in Cebu for a couple of years. I was working in big group. So I'm sure that uh, now when this whole pandemic uh, started, um, all the more it's because, it, you know, no, no, no planes and no, no ships. So really self-sustainability is an issue for uh, our, our brothers, our sisters all over the country uh, in terms of sustaining their businesses, sourcing fabric yes, as well as servicing local clients. Are you back with us, Philip? Can you hear us now? I wish you could hear us. Philip, are you back? No, it still cannot. Well, yeah. anyway. To add to what you said, Grace, you have yeah. to remember that the, that the Philippine market is mostly made to measure. Yes. Can you hear, yeah. Philip? Yeah, I wish you, I wish you could share his insights with us. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah. So, Jack, you were saying that, um, but the population, uh, of course, the ready-to-wear market is rather big because we, we have we do have a lot of um, uh, in terms of uh, the feasible uh, population, uh, but the pandemic has closed all the retail outlets. So, in terms of the channel now to reach the consumers, naturally, a lot of designers are going to go. Uh, online or you know if you have um, uh, an insight on that what would be now the very red channels that our designers can use to reach the market well the digital platform is really the the one that will save the day but let's ask Vic and Dodgy what their plans are yes let's start the ball rolling how about you Dodgy well um, since uh we have uh, projects um, online um, for online. Um, I think we have a partnership with NCCA also. We had uh, approved a grant for us to, uh, with a partnership of Philippine Women's College of Davao and the Mindanao Folk Arts Museum and Study Center to host the online platform for our virtual edition of Tambayayong Dabawenyo, which will feature the FDC in partner with Crafting Communities launching in probably October. I wow. hope. That's very interesting. So this is, yes, this would be entail like weaving tapestry exhibition, design talks and fora on traditional weaving and contemporary heritage-based enterprises, as well as business-to-business -business modules. Wow. It seems that Davo... Uh initiative is uh, very aggressive in terms of uh, already planning the communications and the transitioning of the design community online and i have to yeah. i have to i have to you know salute you guys in the south because that really makes um, that, that will really count a lot in terms of bringing your products to the online community because the online community is not just the philippines once you go online, you're actually open to the entire world. So that, that yes. is a very exciting, exciting prospect. How about you, We have Vic? to thank, we have to yeah, thank also the, we, we, have, we would like to thank also the LGUs for really supporting us um, here in um, the South. Yes. How about you, Vic? Um, what initiatives have you done to go online or going into e-commerce? Oh, uh, I used to have a... Uh, a website, but the, this was years, a decade ago. Uh, I didn't have the use for it then. Uh, it was more for pogi or ganda points. But now you <laughs> really have to have a two-track two track program because now I have my physical store, the brick and mortar store, which will open soon. And we're fast tracking. Uh, we're going, ju we're jumping back online with, with the website. So those are going to be two parallel programs that would run and hopefully um, uh, work with, with work together. Yes, and with Jackie already beginning and uh, creating those initiatives to do fashion show, digital fashion shows, I hope to see more of your designs and your products 
uh, online and I hope that it will really be more successful, Jackie, because uh, well, the industry needs. That's the, well, that's the goal. So we're now a, in the development stages of doing part three of Fashion for Healing, and I hope there will be a part four, five, six, seven, eight. I really would yeah. like to reach out and make sure that all sectors of the industry are somehow given a voice and given the chance to showcase what our what our beautiful country has to offer in terms of our talent because it's it's in abundance. Yes. yes, and I I believe that there's no lack of talent, there's no lack of creativity, and just to show one fantastic showcase would be the initiative of Dodgy's group in Davao, wherein they are able to harness both government, private sector, NGOs, the entire community puts their hands together because that is really a great model for sustainability, would, would you say so? Yes, and, and I hope the way uh, the LGUs in Davao are helping Dodgy Maybe the LGU in all other parts of the country can help the local design community and making sure that their culture is not only highlighted, but their product, their textiles, and their art, their local craftsmanship, maybe through their artisans or their local community. Yes. And on my end, as a digital broadcaster, I will really do my best to support the fashion initiative as well as uh, the group of Doji and Philip in Cebu and Vic in Manila, as well as our FAM uh, fashion accessories group, because our platform will enable you to reach the end consumers who are watching us from all over the world to buy Filipino. It's time. Oras na. Oras na na kailangan bumili tayo ng mga damit at accessories nagawa sa ating bansa. We really have to keep on promoting that because if we do not do this, it will spell the end of our of, of uh, our indigenous businesses because I believe that the end consumer has to make that decision and that decision is to buy Filipino, buy local and that's the way that our will be able to sustain our local fashion industry and I, I, I commit you know, whatever show I put together to always share my platform with the likes of our FDCP as well as FAM friends. And of course, for you, Jackie, I will always oh, yeah. support you. Thank you. Thank you. And while we're at it, I hope everybody watch or everybody watching or listening can go to the Philippine Fashion Coal Coalition page on Facebook and register. May you either you're a designer, apparel accessory, you're a makeup artist, you're a fashion show producer, a fashion show producer, a photographer, a model, a model agent, a PR person, a blogger, a writer. I hope everybody all over the country so that uh, we can have uh, a data that we can put in place and really find out how big our industry is because I know it is big. Yes. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to echo that call. Support Philippine Fashion Coalition. Support by Filipino. Support the initiative of FDCP as well as our brothers in Cebu and Davao. And uh, let's get this fashion industry back on its feet and moving forward. With us putting all our energies together, I am certain that we shall overcome the problem of pandemic negative effects on philippine economy so um i know that uh it's dodgy you you are a big group very influential in davao uh i'd like to hear you to your invitation and how our mindanao uh if there are other designers there that want to be part of it i i give you the floor if you want to make a shout out Yes, to all the Mindanaoans, um, I would like to invite you all to, to join the Philippine Fashion Coalition. This is the time to be one with the whole Philippines. Um, this is the time to, to work together as one. So, um, and I would like um, 
this to be like a a project that will be that will give us the sense of nationalism also and by Filipino. Yes. Now we have Philip backstage, Gina, Carissa, and Vic. And I would also like to give each one a chance to invite our listeners to uh, their their stores or their if they have let's, brick and yeah. mortar stores or online. Okay, ladies. Carissa, let's hear from Carissa because she has a, she has wonderful ideas on how we move forward. Yes, Carissa, we'd like to hear from you, and I'd like you to invite people to your website. How they can buy Beatrice product. And who, how do they can contact you? And we're going to go next to Gina and then Philip and then Vic. Go, Carissa. Hello, Carissa. Carissa, can you hear? I can't hear. Sorry. Is that, are you calling me? Yes, yes. yes. I'd like to invite you. I, I, I just wanted to say I've been loving all the discussions that I've been hearing. Uh, about Philippine textile, about uh, working with the LGU there in Mindanao, about uh, about how we're we're trying to um, have this resurgence of nationalism all throughout the country by having people buy Filipino and support Filipino. So, um, I I I wanted to stress to your audience that it's extremely important that if they have a choice of buying something that's foreign now or buying something that's local, they should choose to buy local. Not everyone can buy right now because uh, people have different situations because of the pandemic. But if they choose, they should buy local because it's only that's the way that we'll be able to bring in money back into our economy. True. Um, with me, I'm promoting two, uh, two, two things right now. Um, that would be what? the Philippine Fashion Coalition uh, that headed by Jackie and we have our Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao that's here. We have Vic Barba, Philip Rodriguez, and Doji Batu. Please, uh, everyone, if you're, if you are a designer or if you are someone who's supporting Philippine design, uh, a model or a makeup artist or in fashion uh, or cr creating fashion shows just like Jackie, but then in a smaller sense, there in maybe in a, in, in a smaller province in um, in Mindanao or Cebu or in Luzon, we encourage you, please join us and um, register at the the web the the Facebook of the Philippine Fashion Coalition. So once we contact you, your your voice will be heard. It's important to know how many we are in the Philippine fashion industry and how we were all affected by this pandemic. Um, both Gina and myself were from the fashion accessories makers of the Philippines. We were 45 brands that banded together because we're trying to figure out together how to, how to co overcome all of this. And uh, in, in, in our group of 45, some have some strengths. There, um, there are some that are strong with export. There are some that are strong with e-commerce. There are some that have very good relationships with stores. And then um, there are some that have institutional knowledge of like working with, uh, with the Foreign Buyers Association of the Philippines. And some, that's their dream. They want to be able to supply the Macy's of the world that are actually, uh, that are actually their stores are shrinking right now. It's, it's a bloodbath in the U.S. So it's important that we're able to help each other, other and figure this out together. For the fashion accessories designers, we have a fashion accessory makers of the Philippines on Facebook. But if you are a lover of fashion and you see a career in fashion and you want to support fashion, please support the Philippine Fashion Coalition. Um, countries like Italy and Paris, they have uh, they have a great respect for fashion because it's part of their culture of who they are. And that's the same way how we are, but we haven't verbalized it yet because our numbers haven't been counted. So we, we have Philippine Tessa, that's what Doji was talking about, and he was showing his beautiful masks. I think Vic Barba also has beautiful masks also uh, that, uh, that 
Philip was talking about about you know like a Philippine Rami from before. Maybe there's like this Philippine linen and like Italian linen that will come out from us, and all the Philippine designers will 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 support it. All the garment designers and garment exporters. True. If you end up looking at uh like uh, our our numbers in apparel, uh the only numbers that have been counted have been the the ones that to export or their subcontractors for big brands in the US or in Europe. But what about our Filipino brands? I mean, I would love yes. to see like a big collection of Vic Barba in, in Europe. Wouldn't that be great? Or Dodgy Batu or, or, or Philip Rodriguez. Or maybe Gina could have like a whole um, home collection of her House of Agsam. It's not just with yes. accessories. So it's like we need the support of all your viewers, all the Filipinos who are in Modesto, California. I saw that you have yes, you have uh, you you have broadcast there. All, all the ones yes. that are listening in the Philippines and in Europe, since you're, this is global, maybe yes. just find out who we are, Philippine Fashion Coalition. Come on board, like us, send um register or interact with us because it's. It's the next generation that's gonna benefit from this. I wasn't able to see Philippine Rami. I'm sorry, Philip, but I would love to see Philippine Rami again. I would love to see Pina textile done in like yards and yards and not just with our smaller communities, but something that like Philippine fabric all over the world, like thigh fabric or, yes. or um, Indonesian batik. You know, it's like our culture that's out there, and it's not just us being uh, a country of buyers of other cultures also. Yes. We have our own culture, and it's so beautiful. Uh, yes. Maybe, 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 maybe you could, maybe Gina, Gina could, could talk more about how, how beautiful our culture is and how she sees, how she sees like this big vision that we have. Yes, yes. Gina, Gina? are you here? Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm Thank sorry, you. I may be choppy. Gina, don't worry about you. The yeah. image is choppy. But uh, we have a conversation going about promoting our Filipino um, accessory. Yeah. Gina FGM yeah. is a very Gina rich works with the yeah. group. Yeah, Gina, go ahead. Carissa. Gina works with the artisan groups, Tita. Yes, and it's it's huge. It's gonna be a huge thing, starting with Mindanao, of course, because I know the yeah. people in Mindanao are very organized, right, Daji and right. Gina. Right, right. But maybe Gina could talk talk to us about like all these great plans. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that beautiful, beautiful message, Teresa. Am I? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Is it clear? Is that clear? Okay. Yeah, thank you for that beautiful um, anecdote, uh, Carissa. Um, there are so many gargantuan plans um, at the at, uh, for the Philippine Fashion Coalition and particularly for the uh, fan page. But right now, I guess, um, as far as um, promoting and sustaining the Filipino craft mission is concerned, um, we have set up a group um, together with... Uh, uh, two ladies like Martha Rodriguez from Vesti, Len Kabili from uh, Philip, uh, Filipina. No? And uh, what we intend to do is to create a segment under the Philippine Fashion Coalition and also as a sub segment of uh, the fab page, the, fab, uh, the fashion accessories of the Philippines. We will, uh, we'll be, we will be able to create sub segments um, from the whole supply chain, from the raw materials to the designers. So everybody does want to create a culture of um, inclusivity. So meaning nobody's going to be left behind. So we're talking about, for, for example, for, for, for my business, from, for, for those Manuas and Manobos who cut the exam plant for me from the mountains. And they live there, they reside there, and they cut the trees for me. So we include those people up to the with weavers who weave my, my designs and, and, and then after that, the people who do my beading. So it's really our purpose is to have everybody as much as possible in that sphere for fashion and make them feel important and valuable. And also because more importantly, 
there's a reason why we have beautiful Filipino crafts. Like, it's, it's their expression of their lives. It's their celebration of their lives. And what better way to do that and by honoring them is to really make them part of that. And also, uh, at the very core of uh, when we created and Carita and I uh, started the camp page, at the very very core really of uh, creating this association is, is really, aside from promoting the Philippine craftsmanship, is really to um, help out artisan workers. Most of them, if not all, have been displaced. Um, they have lost jobs. And that's why our, our shout out is really, um, as Carissa mentioned earlier, our shout out to our uh, fellow Filipinos and also to the rest of the world is if, if they can buy our products, if they, if they can buy and if they must buy, please patronize Filipino products. Because not only are they beautiful, you know, but because we're, we're, we're talking about our heritage. We're talking about our tradition and what better way than to wear it ourselves so it's wearing our culture and our pride uh, i'm sure um, doji would agree with me dial dial is beauty and pride in desires so we'd like to sustain that promote it and really put it out there not only in the national or national scale but really in, in, in the entire in the global map in the global map as well Thank you so much, Gina. And I, I, I am going to echo your message to all our viewers because it's really time to buy Filipino and join the Philippine Fashion Coalition. Join the Buy Filipino pages on Facebook. There you will be able to learn more about the artisans, the tremendous creative force and the communities behind the products of Beatrice, as well as Agsam Fashion Firm. Now, Philip, would you like to give us a message on behalf of the Cebu Council, uh, Designers Council, so that the whole world will know what your uh, insights are right now during this time of pandemic? Philip? Philip, are you there? Philip, are you there? Can you hear us? Philip? Would you like to say something on behalf of the Cebu designers, Philip? Uh, I, I can't hear what... I, I can't hear. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's really ah. choppy. Oh, okay. Um, all and, I can say is that um, hoping for oh. the best. I mean, like maybe once we have the me, we can trade market as Philippine Rama, so no one can uh, claim. Still choppy. Very choppy. Anyway. Um, we have a few more minutes, so uh, how about hearing from uh, Vic? Um, what is your shout out to our audience from the group of the FDCP? Well, what I can say as a parting word is really, it's, it's time to really help each other, be uh, being in the forefront or, or in the background as a consumer, to just keep the business within your local within the country. This is why we need to just keep it together here. Now is the time to help each other to revive the economy. And if we revive the economy, we go back to as normal as we could be um, in, in this situation that we're dealing with. Yes. So go local, support local, support our artisans, our, our weavers, and our local fashion designers. So you don't have to go far. If you are in, in Ilocos, I'm sure there's a group of designers in Ilocos, support them. You don't have to go all the way to Manila. If you're in Cebu, support the Cebuano designers. And let's go now to our friend from Davao, Doji, as a parting message. What would you like to share with our viewers tonight? Um, I would like to, to say that um, it is now time to work hand in hand with the local government unit that you are in. Um, the Davao Fashion and Design Council um, is very thankful for the support of the local government unit in Davao and the Davao region. 
and for helping the whole of Mindanao. Um, my, um, I have branches uh, in in Davao and General Santa City, and uh, the residents and the local government unit in both branches are very helpful um, to the designers of Mindanao. And I hope this will echo to, towards the whole nation that um, 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 working hand in hand with your local government unit is the way to go now. Yes. Thank you for your message, Doji. Finally, Jackie Aquino, what is your parting message to our viewers? Well, simple. Like what I've always said in my videos, together we can and together we will. That's, and, I, I, and I salute the local government all over the country that I hope will support their own community and revive the fashion industry in their own area. Okay. And so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll go on a short break. And uh, when we return, I will come up with my own parting message. Stick around, our viewers. We'll be right back with this quick message. We'll be back shortly with Tita Gracie. Let's chat with Tita Gracie only here on V81 Radio.